For case seven, we're dealing with a 54 year old with a long history of diabetes insipidus and now visual changes. Here's some images from a CT. There's a pretty striking abnormality there. So be thinking about what would occur in this location where you think this process is centered. And we have some MR images. On the left, this is diffusion. On the right, this is flare. Here's a coronal T2 image. And we'll finish up with pre and post contrast imaging. So your first question is, what is the most likely diagnosis? Now, what are the two common subtypes of this disease? So if you haven't already, you should be thinking about craniopharyngioma and then what are the types of craniopharyngioma? So as I said, this is a craniopharyngioma. These are tumors of cells that occur in a Rathke's cleft. They're mixed solid and cystic neoplasms and the most common are the adamantinous and the squamous or papillary ones. Uh, these are predominantly younger patients. They have calcification and enhancement. Uh, these are the ones that occur in adults. So this was most likely a squamous papillary uh, type. Here you see on the CT, there's a predominantly low density mass in the supercellar region, maybe a little bit of uh, intermediate density material centrally. You see on the pre and post contrast, what you have is this large mass expanding the cella. Now you do see the pituitary is probably preserved here. You see it enhancing normally, but then on the post contrast imaging, you have uh, areas of kind of cystic non-enhancement with nodular areas centrally, which are enhancing. That's pretty classic for craniopharyngioma. And as we discussed already, the two major types of these are adamantinous and papillary. So those are the main subtypes of craniopharyngioma that you need to know about.